so we got a date and we got a venue bruh may the 6th in the tokyo dome bruh like that's the big boy that's the big 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 boy over there in japan bro uh, bro and shout out to Nayoya Inoue, bro, because that just means his star power has grown to the levels of Canelo Alvarez in Japan. Yeah, yeah, man. You can say what you want to say, bro. His star power is that big now, bro. That means um, the last two fights, they might have had a lot of people that still want to buy tickets that couldn't get into the actual arena, right? So they had to make sure they they make, they made the, this fight super big so that everybody can fit into that arena so they got to bring out the tokyo dome bro that's crazy bro saying that to say this is still 50 50 news it's kind of like i got good news for you and i got bad news for you which one you want first all right that's kind of how i have to play this right because to a certain degree bro it still might be a no-go it still might be a no-go bro now i know a lot of you guys can't see what's going on here but it was so much detail here that i had to um kind of put it all in there so that way you guys can see as much as you possibly could off the article but here's what it says for those of you who probably can't see it on your cell phones it says a deal was long in place for the fight itself right meaning just the fight itself not a venue in, in japan because technically lewis neary has been suspended right it says however plans are contingent upon the japanese boxing commission which is the jbc agreeing to lift Neary's indefinite suspension. Now they have to do the groundwork, meaning Timmy No Way has to go and do the groundwork with the likes of the JBC to remove this ban, bro. And if, if there was no other time to remove this ban, now is the time, bro, because I got the Tokyo Dome, right? I got the Tokyo Dome. This is not a tournament event. This is the Tokyo Dome for me, right? With my name on the marquee. Bro, you gotta let him in here, bro. Y'all gotta let him in here. Come on, man. Let him fight. Let him fight me in Japan, bro. Because if he don't, he will not get the Tokyo Dome. If he go anywhere else, bro, it might not be as big of an event, right? I'm um, saying that to say, it says in no way himself called for Neri to be the first of a planned three fight campaign in 2024. I did have a fan come over and tell me that he no way will campaign at the Super Bantamweight level for three good fights, right? He gonna stay there and just defend. And then he'll move up um, in the year 2025 or maybe uh, the top of uh, the mid of 2025, right? But uh, saying that to say, it says uh, his team was proactive in working with the JBC to lift a suspension that has been placed on Neri uh, since the March 2018 rematch with Yamanaka when he missed weight badly. And then they talk about what happened in the Yamanaka situation uh, further down. But I don't have to go into that because I've already did that on the previous video, right? Now, saying that to say, I'm pretty sure they still working on that, bro, to get him over there. Or maybe they've already lifted it. But the article is not saying 100% that they lifted the ban, right? They're saying that they still working together to a certain degree, right? So, hopefully, bro, this could happen in the Tokyo Dome. Because this is going to be lit, bro, to see all of those fans in support for Naoya in no way, bro. Going up against a guy that could possibly beat him. I'm not saying that near would beat him but it's a it's a possible win right because you got the bad guy moniker right you get to go in as the bad guy right um you, you get to talk crap about you no know, way you get to kind of tick off his fans you get to tick him off right you get to kind of um be annoying right you get to kind of be annoying on the fight that you can get the more they boo you right the more they boo you the better you look in, in a scenario like that right you just be this bad guy right but you got to go in the ring and perform well the only thing that neary has to do technically is to make sure that he don't have no substances in his, uh, substances in his system bro because you do not want to have that uh plague in your career um especially if you want to get the win right you don't want that plague in your career and you don't want to miss weight right you got no way sticking his neck out for you uh, to a certain degree with the jbc trying to get you over there bro and if it, if it all goes planned you guys will be in the biggest arena that japan has to offer which is the tokyo dome bro you cannot let the fans down like the, the whole entire sport of uh, boxing you can't let us all down by showing up 
uh, on PEDs or showing up missing weight, right? Not to bring up old stuff, but it is what it is. He could be a bad, bad guy from that point on, right? As long as he don't do those two things, he can be as much of a bad guy as he wants to say as bad things he wants to say about it, no way, because they got to fight anyways, right? Saying that to say, this is going to be really cool. Shout out to Team in No Way for getting that Tokyo Dome open, bro. That's going to be crazy. I want to see how they're going to set it up, right? Because if you know anything about, like, the sports, right? They have, like, especially like, if you ever watch, like, wrestling, Right, you ever watch wrestling? They they be driving around with like 20 trucks, 20 to 30 trucks, right? And and they got like the stage, the setup, like the Titan Tron and the ring and all of that stuff, the the, the little rings, uh the, the announcer table and all that stuff is all in these trucks, right? So they can uh go on on uh that weekend and they gotta rebuild everything and put everything together and and, and it kind of section off the, the stadium like they want to, right? So that we can have an event. And, bruh, I imagine, bruh, for a nail, you know what they about to bring out a crazy stage. Cause it's the Tokyo Dome. You get to bring out the big stuff, bruh. So, you know, they can walk out and do its thing. But it's going to be very exciting to see. I don't know who's going to win it, bro. I'm still kind of landsliding into Nayo, you know, where I do think he's that good. Uh, sticking around to the Super Bans uh, in the Super Bantamweight division for uh, two more fights after this. It's pretty cool for Nayo, you know, where can anybody in the Super Bantamweight division beat him? I don't know. I do think that his toughest match would be uh, Marijan Akhmadaliyev. That's just my only opinion about it because I do think Marijan is just as quick. And have as much power as Stephen Fulton. That's just my opinion. Not to mention he lose to Marlon Tapales, but he got the same amount of power as Marlon Tapales. But the speed is about similar to uh, the likes of Stephen Fulton. That's just my opinion. You can look at MJ fight and you can tell one thing for sure that he's fast, right? And he does have kind of like Tapales' power. So I do think that that will play into his benefit if he could get into the ring with the likes of Naomi in no way and maybe land something solid. Like, can he really knock out in no way? I highly doubt it. But land something solid enough to maybe make him back up or at least get him super aggressive and make him want to fight tougher, that will be cool because, bro, what I realized about Naomi in no way, when he was in the ring with Martin Tapales and he got punched in the stomach, he got punched in his gut, he hurled over, everybody knew that that was his soft spot to, to target. Bruh, he got a vicious. He got aggressive. He was ready to fight. He got relentless. He started bringing the fight to Tapales to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. You ain't getting back to this spot no more, bruh. And I'm going to uh, punish you for the remainder of this fight. Right? So, it's a scenario that does play out where I do think that the Akhmadalia fight will be a little bit more lit. Hopefully, that fight get the Tokyo Dome, too. But it is what it is in that aspect. This is the RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. You got Lewis Neri uh, more than likely going to be removed off band, right? He, he, it's more than likely going to happen if it hasn't already. The article didn't really uh, get specific on whether or whether or not he was removed. But it does say in no way himself called for Neri to be uh, first uh, of a planned three-fight campaign in 2024. His team was proactive in working with uh, the JBC to lift a suspension that has uh, has been placed on Neri since March of 2018. Now it, it does sound like they're letting them go, but it's not full out saying, bro. Like he he's done. Like, he's saying they they uh, was proactive in working with the JBC to lift a suspension. But usually, right when the suspension is lifted, they'll say, oh, it's lifted for this amount of time, or it's lifted for you know forever, or you know, because they when they ban you, they say. Oh, yeah, you're banned for life, right? You can't come over here no more, right? Even if you want to live over here, you can't come over here and live over here type crap, right? But then when they lift the ban, they got to be just as clear, right? You got to be just as clear. Okay, it's, it's only for like a month uh, so he can come over and train and do what he has to do and then leave. Or it's, it's, it's good enough for a year um, just in case he wanted to, to try to come over here and, and, and uh, work something out with us where we can let him fight over here uh, again. He have a year to do that. Or they can say, well, it's, it's a lifetime uh, removal where um, he's proven beyond a reasonable doubt that he won't do those things anymore and then we'll let him come over here. Even if he wants to live over here, he can come over here and live over here. Like, you see what I'm saying? They're not so clear about that. So, again, I'm saying this is 50-50 news because to get the Tokyo Dome is a good idea, but um, we don't know if they really lifted the ban or if they're going to even come out and tell us that they lifted the ban, right? They might just say, oh, well, the suspension is over. Or uh, uh, Inoue versus uh, uh, Neri in the Tokyo Dome. That's probably all, all they do, but it is what it is in the aspect. Saying that to say, this is our Touch Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing on, man. Great news for Inoue. It is what it is. Great news for Neri. It is what it is. He get an opportunity to try to win Undisputed. 
in the Tokyo Dome, bro, in front of all those fans, bro. You got to train your butt off, Neri, to get this W. Although I do think it's a long shot, it's definitely possible. Again, RTH Podcast, y'all's nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, bro. Peace. RTH Podcast going live, man, with Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the Community Board Champion. But remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. Brawl Night Champions, sign up now.